Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Harsha Ali Khan. So this is the last uh, problem on admission of a partner. So in this topic, partnership accounts one, we are dealing with how to prepare the capital accounts by current uh, by fluctuating capital method and fixed capital method. Then what are the adjustment to be made when a new partner is admitted? Similarly, what are the adjustment when a partner retires or on the death of a partner? These are the topics we have to cover up in this, uh, uh, I mean, topic called partnership accounts one. So this 17th problem is the last problem on admission. From the next video, we'll start the problems on retirement of a partner. Now, see the 17th. Before starting 17th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point. Now, see the 17th problem. The following is the balance sheet of A and B as at 31st March 2006. C is admitted as a partner on the debt when position of A and B was as under. <clears throat> the old partners are A and B and the new partner C is being admitted. So before the admission of C, the balance sheet of A and B is as follows. A's capital 10,000, B's capital 8,000, creditors, general reserve, workmen compensation fund. This general reserve will be shared by the old partners in the old profit sharing ratio. Debtors, land and building, plan and machinery, stock, cash and bank balance. This is the balance sheet. A and B share profits in the proportion of 3 is to 2 profit sharing ratio between old partners. The following terms of admission are agreed upon. Revaluation of assets, land and building 18,000. What is the balance sheet value of land and building? 8,000. From 8,000, we have to increase it to 18,000. That means 10,000 rupees, the value of land and building should be increased. So entry will be land and building account debit, revaluation account credit. Secondly, stock of goods 16,000. What is the balance sheet value of stock? 12,000. From 12,000, we have to make it 16,000. The 4,000 rupees stock has to be increased. Entry, stock account debit, revaluation credit. The liability on workman compensation fund is determined at 2000. Actually, workman compensation fund is given in the balance sheet as 4000. So already 4000 fund is there. But out of 4000, only 2000 is the liability. Remaining 2000 rupees we have to remove from the workman compensation fund. That is a gain. So entry will be workman compensation fund account debit 2000 and revaluation account credit in this way we can be able to transfer the workman compensation fund by 2000 next is uh, c brought in as a share of goodwill 10000 in cash the so goodwill is brought in cash 10000 rupees c was to bring further cash as would make his capital equal to 20% of the combined capital of A and B after the above revaluation and adjustment are carried out. Just like the previous problem. The capital of C is not given. It is saying that C's capital should be 20% of the combined capital of A and B after making all adjustments. So we have to prepare the capital account of A and B find out how much is the capital of A and B after making all adjustment then combined capital calculate 20 percent that is C's capital the future profit sharing ratio whereas A 2 by 5 B 2 by 5 C 1 by 5 when the old profit sharing ratio and new profit sharing ratio both are given then we have to calculate sacrificing ratio because goodwill will be shared in sacrificing ratio if old ratio and new ratio both are given so here both are given. So there is a need to calculate sacrificing ratio. Prepare the new balance sheet of the firm and capital account of the partners. We are not required to pass the journal entries. Only we have to make the balance sheet and capital accounts. But apart from that, we need to prepare revaluation account to find out profit or loss on revaluation. First of all, we calculate the sacrificing ratio. 
old ratio of a and b 3 is to 2 new ratio of a b and c 2 is to 2 is to 1 both ratios are given in the problem the formula for sacrificing ratio is old ratio minus new ratio now for a what is the old ratio of a 3 by 5 what is the new ratio of a 2 by 5 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 1 5 so 2 by 5 so 3 by 5 minus 2 by 5 LCM 5 3 minus 2 is 1 1 by 5 1 by 5 is the sacrificing ratio of A similarly calculate sacrificing ratio of B old ratio of B 2 by 5 new ratio of B 2 by 5 that means 2 by 5 minus 2 by 5 you'll get 0 that means no sacrifice is made by partner B there is no change in profit earlier he was sharing 2 by 5 and in future also he is sharing 2 by 5 so there is no sacrifice on the part of B sacrifice is made only by A that means the whole goodwill brought in by C will be given to A because he only sacrifice B is not sacrificing so sacrifice is made only by A therefore no difference in profit sharing ratio of B therefore the goodwill should be given only to A whatever goodwill is brought that will be given to A that is the new point <coughs> now revaluation account so first of all stock uh, no not stock uh, land and building are increased by up to 18,000 the present value of land and building was 8,000 so 10,000 rupees land and building has to be increased so entry will be land and building account debit 10,000 revaluation account credit 10,000 so buy land and building 10,000 stock the book value of stock 12,000 now we have to make it 16,000 so 4,000 rupees stock has to be increased entry will be stock account debit revaluation account credit so revaluation account credit side 4,000 next is the liability on workman compensation fund is determined at 2,000 that means out of 4,000 only 2,000 is the liability so our liability is reduced to reduce the liability debit the liability so entry will be uh, uh, workman compensation fund debit revaluation credit so revaluation credit side workman compensation fund 2000 over there is no item on the debit side of revaluation account all the items we have three items we have on the credit side take the total of the credit side 16,000 so 16,000 is the revaluation profit when credit side is more there is a profit on revaluation this 16,000 uh, will be shared by old partners in the old profit sharing ratio the old profit sharing ratio 3 is to 2 so 16,000 into 3 by 5 9,600 16,000 into 2 by 5 6,400 revaluation completed now we prepare the partners capital account in partners capital account first of all we take the old capital of a and b old partners cap capital account in the balance sheet it is given a's capital 10,000 b's capital 8,000 so before adjustment a's capital 10,000 and b's capital 8,000 then revaluation profit the entry for revaluation profit is revaluation account debit partners capital credit so partners capital credit side revaluation profit 9600 and 6400 right apart from that we have general reserve in the balance sheet you can see general reserve 16000 this 16000 general reserve will be shared by old partners in the old ratio 16000 into 3 by 5 16,000 into 3 by 5 will come to 9,600. The general reserve 16,000 out of which 9,600 goes to A. So here 9,600 goes to A. Similarly, 16,000 into 2 by 5, it comes to 6,400. Now 6,400 will go to B. Lastly, goodwill. C is in the new partner C brings 10,000 rupees goodwill. And complete goodwill should be given to A because A is sacrificing. B is not sacrificing. B will not get any share of goodwill. So complete 10,000 rupees will be given to A. That's all. Now after 
adjusting all we have to find out what is the closing capital of a and b after adjustments so total of a 39200 so balancing figure balance carried down 39200 balance brought on 39200 similarly b 20800 20800 carried down brought on so we got the capital accounts of a and b after adjustments now it is given in the problem that c brings cash as capital to the extent of 20% of the combined capital of A and B. So we find out the combined capital of A and B after making all adjustments. 39,200 plus 20,800, 60,000. 20% of 60,000, 12,000. The cash brought by partner C is 12,000. Now we make the balance sheet. The new balance sheet is prepared by seeing the old balance sheet. See the old balance sheet, A's capital, B's capital is given. So capital will take lastly, creditors 12,000. But there is no change in creditors. Same 12,000 creditors have to give. Workman compensation fund is given 4,000. But I'm not taking 4,000. 2,000 rupees we have transferred to realization, revaluation. So only 2,000 workman compensation fund. Then capital accounts. In capital accounts, we take the new capital of A, B and C. A, B capital 39,200, 20,800. So here 39,200, 20,800. And C brings capital of 12,000. Just now we have calculated here. So 12,000. Liability is completed. Now we'll come to asset side. Debtors 11,000. There is no change. We have not made any change in debtors. So same 11,000. Land and building 8,000 was there, but we have increased by 10,000. So 8,000 plus 10,000, 18,000. Plant and machinery, we have not made any changes. Same 10,000. Stock, stock of goods, 12,000 was there. But we have increased the stock by 4,000. 12,000 plus 4,000, 16,000. Last one is cash and bank balance. So before making all these adjustments, cash balance was 9,000. But apart from that, the new partner has brought cash for goodwill as well as capital. So this 9,000 we take plus how much capital he has brought? 12,000 rupees capital he has brought. So plus 12,000. Plus how much goodwill he has brought in cash? 10,000. That 10,000 we add up. The total cash and bank balance will become 31,000. Now find the total on the assets and liabilities. It comes to 86,000. That's it. Balance sheet talent. So these are the problems on admission of a new partner. So, so far 17 problems on admission. And apart from that, we have done so many problems on preparing the capital account and current account of the partners, calculating the uh, profit sharing ratio, all these things we have done in the previous problem. So if you want the perfect knowledge, perfect command on this subject, watch all the videos from beginning till end, don't skip in between. And uh, keep a rhythm of watching one video with another video because it is completely linked. You cannot randomly select any video and try to learn it. It will be difficult for you. So my suggestion, watch all the videos and inshallah in the next video we will start the next topic on retirement of a partner. What are the adjustments to be made when a partner retires? Inshallah we will continue in the next video.